It's the Kyle Hyman Show on Redeemer Radio. And I know the song. I just can't think of which one it is. So it's it's one of those old, like, yeah, like I knew it was Hill's song. Uh, uh, was it was, oh, 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 it's coming to me. It's time for Kathy Games, the show that helps you learn something about the faith while having some fun. And now, here's your host, me. Welcome to Catholic Games. I'm Kyle Hyman. And today, my guest is a fun podcaster, radio host, speaker, Taylor Schroll. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. How are you? It's nice to be back. Yeah, good to see you again. We, we get to do the video chat here. Everybody else just has to listen to us. They don't get to see our beautiful faces. <laughs> good for them. <laughs> <laughs> So, Taylor, your ministry, or one of them, is called Forte Catholic. People can find it at ForteCatholic.com. Can you explain why the name? Forte is Italian for very loud. I'm also a musician, as you are. Uh Uh, So, Forte, every time you see it in music, it means play it really loud. And Uh I am quite loud. So, there you go. The end. It's a music connection and a loud connection. (laughs) All right. I think it's a pretty clever name. And I thought we could use that as inspiration for today's game. So today's game is a game that I'm calling Turn Down for What? (laughs) That's right. So all of these questions. (laughs) I know. know. Usually, Usually I cut it early. Uh, just let, <laughs> letting the, the moment last. <laughs> I savored it. Thank you. So, so all of these questions are going to be about things that are loud or reference something loud. Are you ready for this? I am. All right. Here we go. Let's go. On your website, you have the quote, make a loud noise and rejoice and sing praise. Where in the Bible can that be found? In the large book of Psalms. <laughs> Somewhere in there. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty generous ding. Yes, I, I thought maybe because it's the first thing on your website, maybe you would remember where it was. No, I'm Catholic. I'm okay. still Catholic. <laughs> Psalm 98, verse 4, according to your website. Again, I didn't look it up to verify. <laughs> All right, what do you call the perception of noise or ringing in the ears, which can be caused by age, exposure to loud noise, earwax blockage, or ear bone changes? Tinnitus. That is correct. The only reason I know that is because of the cartoon Archer. (laughs) Uh, Does he have tinnitus? He does, because every other episode, something explodes right next to him and he can't hear. (laughs) I wonder what the frequency of that that ring is. That, <laughs> I don't know. After the explosion. All right, what was the name of the... <laughs> when did you start playing music? What year did you start playing guitar? Oh, guitar wasn't until like 2012. I was singing oh. in 2008... 2007? Okay, so this might be, this might be too, too much of a throwback for you, but we'll see. It's an oldie but goodie. What was the name of the 1993 Darlene Zetch? I have no idea how to pronounce her name, but uh, she has four consonants to start her name, just like you do. Do you ever wish you had yeah. five consonants to start your name? Like, I've never thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so what was the name of this 1993 hit published by Hillsong Music Australia? It's been covered by Don Moen, Carmen, Natalie Grant, Skillet, Matt Redman, Jim Brickman, Randy Travis, Lincoln Brewster, John Tesh, and Sandy Patty. I know. These are all your favorites. Uh, I, I know four of those names. One of which is Darlene Check. And I know the song. I just can't think of which one it is. So it's it's one of those old... Sc- like, yeah, like yeah. I knew it was Hillsong. It's a classic. Uh, uh, it was is like it Hillsong the, before uh, Hillsong was, was like the thing. Right. Uh, was it was... Oh, 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 oh. It's coming to me. <laughs> I, can I wanted you a to hint say, if you need it. and and I, I was I was wanting to say, and we cry, holy, holy, no. holy. But oh, uh, uh, sh- shout to the Lord, all the earth, let us yes. sing. Oh, I, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> shout to the Lord. 
I was four. <laughs> if you needed a, a hint, I could have given you the lyrics begin with, My Jesus, my Savior, Lord, there's none like you. All of my days, I want to praise the wonders of your mighty love. Do you ever, like, wish that your music career, you could just whisper the whole time? <laughs> <laughs> just like she does? <laughs> a, a song about shouting. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. I never thought about that connection. That's hilarious. <laughs> All right. What is the name of the 2011 film starring Tom Hanks and Sandra Bullock who have a nine-year-old son with Asperger syndrome? Uh, it's 2011. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen this, but I remember <laughs> it being a really good movie. His dad uh, dies in 9-11, and he goes on this scavenger hunt trying to find the key to this locked box that his dad had left. It's I an amazing no film. Idea. I'm going to say the blind side just for Sandra Bullock, <laughs> but I have no idea. <laughs> if, if Tom Hanks was in the blind side, he could have been the football player. That would have been awesome. He was in the stands. He was just <laughs> yeah. one of the 800 people in the stands. No, it's called Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close. I've never even heard of that. Like okay. I, 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 it, I know that e- even out. knowing the game we're playing <laughs> about something loud, I was like, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> I was like, Terminals are loud. Wasn't he in a movie about Terminals? <laughs> <laughs> Cast away. <laughs> All right, in John eleven thirty five, 35, Jesus wept at the death of his friend Lazarus. But in an unexpected turn of events, Jesus cries out, quote, in a loud voice, what? Uh, Lazarus come out? Yes. Yes! That is exactly correct. <laughs> Verse 43 says, Lazarus come out. So the dead man came out, tied hand and foot with burial bands, and his face was wrapped in a cloth. So Jesus said to them, untie him and let him go. <laughs> and, and they also, like, he told him to make him a meal, didn't they? Probably. Because he like- was like, he's very hungry. It's been three days. <laughs> <laughs> Every Bible verse should end with, and then they ate. <laughs> <laughs> and then they had a meal. Jesus wept, and then he ate. <laughs> yes. All right. Originally written in 1961, it was recorded by the Top Notes, became a hit signal by the Isley Brothers and the Beatles, and then it made a charting comeback in 1986 when it was lip synced in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. And there's also a version done by The Who and Salt and Peppa, and probably many others. Uh, shout? No. Dang it. But you got part of it, you got one third of the song. It starts with, well, shake it up, baby, now. Uh, Take my hands up and shout. It's the same song. I don't know. (laughs) Twist and shout. Twist and shout. Yes. Wait, the Beatles sang that, too? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Beatles had a huge hit with Twist and Shout. I guess I know the Isley Brothers version. Yeah. Or or none of the versions, Or none of the versions. (laughs) Shout. Isley Brothers did have shout as well. Throw your hands up and shout. But that's oh, that's a different them? song. Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. So I was on the right track. Just uh, uh, I think it's Tears for right Fears station. also had the shout, shout, let it all out. Oh, I, dude, yeah. I haven't thought about that song oh, since Darlene Check was popular. I, I had a whole <laughs> list of, of shout songs, and I, I decided to go with Twist and Shout. Sorry for your loss. All right. This one, I'm, I'm not expecting you to get. I just find it interesting. Bethany Music has a song called Loud. Matt Redman has a song called Louder. And I can only assume that Stephen Malcolm and Natalie Grant had to one-up them with their 2019 release called What? Loudest. <laughs> no, no. It's called Even Louder. <laughs> so, so now we have Christian songs called Loud, Louder, and Even Louder. <laughs> You little, know they're just sitting in the studio just trying to make the others mad. Like, what, like, what's been good hits lately? Let's uh, <laughs> let's see if we can take it to the next level. The lyrics are, even if the drum stops beating, my soul will keep on singing even louder, even louder. So my question for you, Taylor, if you decided to one-up Stephen and Natalie after Loud, Louder, and Even Louder, what would you call your hit single? Uh, I would call it actually shout to the Lord and I would do the Darlene check song, but in screamo. <laughs> so, oh, you actually been screaming the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> My Jesus. <laughs> uh, if you don't release this in the next like 72 hours, I'll feel like it's a really missed opportunity. 
All right. What do you call a random sound signal having equal intensity at different frequencies, which gives it a constant power spectral density? Uh, uh, hypertones? I have some hints. The first hint would be some people use it to help them go to sleep. Melatonin. (laughs) (laughs) It has the word tone in it. (laughs) It, uh, Second hint is because it drowns out other sounds. White noise? Yes. Wow. Say that definition again? That's weird. It's a random sound signal having equal intensity at different frequencies. So like the whole frequency spectrum is all the same level. Oh, wow. So your basses, your mids, your highs, it's all like... It hits all of those levels, and it just comes out as white noise. That makes sense, because I sleep with white noise, and I, I I can tune into, like, oh, I can hear the low notes, I can hear the high notes. That's interesting. I never thought about it that way. All right. What is the name of the Nickelodeon show where life can get pretty crazy? One boy who has five older sisters and five younger sisters. There's Lori, Lenny, Luna, Luann, Lynn, Lucy, Lana, Lola, Lisa, Lily, and Lincoln. Those parents hate themselves. Boy, <laughs> just it's hard enough for it's, me to know my kids' names. I, I don't and they're think all it's very based different. on a true story. This is <laughs> it's oh, a shucks. fiction. It's a cartoon on Nickelodeon. Do you have any idea what the name of the show is? Uh, no idea. Take a random guess based on the theme of our show. The only show that I know that has names all the same are Ed, Ed, and Eddie, and they weren't listed. <laughs> All, all the like seven year olds are screaming at their car right now. My daughter's watching Nickelodeon in the other room okay. right now. I have, I have no idea. Do you want to phone a friend? I'm just kidding. It's called yeah. <laughs> The Loud House. Uh, I'd never heard of it. I could go ask my two year old, but who's watching the show, but I don't think she'd be helpful either. <laughs> yeah, she's probably the a little, loud house. little before. All right, in Matthew 9, an official tells Jesus that his daughter has died. When Jesus arrives at the house, what does he find? I actually don't remember this from the story. So he finds her in bed and he says that she's sleeping and tells people to go away? I don't know. That Yeah, that's the part I remember too. But it says, I'm, I'm not going to count it because it doesn't have anything to do with the theme. It says in verses 23, 25, when Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute player's and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, go away. And then the girl's not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand and the little girl arose. I totally missed the part of the story where there were flute players in a crowd making commotion at this dead girl's house. So now that you say it, I remember the crowd making commotion. I don't remember the flute players at all. But I want to think that that was completely unrelated for Jesus. He was just like walking by random flute players like, would y'all stop? <laughs> hey, hey, we got a dead girl here. Can you guys stop with the Celine Dion? Yeah. <laughs> also a whisper singer. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. In 1 Corinthians 13, St. Paul says, if I speak in human and angelic tongues, but do not have love, What? I am a resounding gong. That is correct. Or a clashing cymbal. I am a resounding gong or a clashing cymbal. Oh, there you go. Just making noise. I I thought you were going to play that sound effect. (laughs) Well, speaking (laughs) of gong, what was the name of the amateur talent contest which started in 1976 and has 521 episodes to its credit, had many running gags, including Gene Gene the Dancing Machine, and when Axe failed to meet the judge's approval... They received the show's namesake. Uh, isn't it just called The Gong Show? That is correct. Awesome. Which got me spiraled down a YouTube video watching different clips from The Gong Show. Very funny sketches that they had, I think. It was my style of humor, like little g- running gags and stuff. I, right. I enjoyed it. All right, in Psalm 100. Oh, this is our last question. In I Psalm think I'm doing 100. Pretty well. <laughs> in Psalm 100, it reads, A psalm of thanksgiving. Blank. Joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. There's probably a Selah somewhere in there, but what you're looking for is sing. Ooh, there oh, might be translations that say it. that. Remember the theme of our, our show here? It's shout, shout, isn't it? Shout, yes. 
Shout joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. So, power and majesty praise to the king. Bonus question. That's right. <laughs> Without distorting your microphone, can you show me what a joyful shout to the Lord sounds like? Hooray! I, I think you did it. You did it. My, it didn't distort on my end. So I think, I think you have officially won the game and take away all the prize money. So congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so <laughs> I just let it play. Just let it ride. <laughs> just let it ride, man. <laughs> all right, Taylor, as your prize, please promote your stuff. What's going on in the life of Taylor Schroll these days? The two main things are the podcast, the Fourth the Catholic Podcast, very similar to your show. If people like your show, they'll probably like mine. Catholicism, comedy, humor, entertainment, that sort of thing. And then also our YouTube channel. That is new. So uh, youtube.com slash Forte Catholic. We've got uh, all kinds of stuff over there to help grow in your faith and maybe laugh a little. So people can check it out. Just do a search for Forte Catholic wherever you're looking for them or ForteCatholic.com. Thank you so much, Taylor. This was a lot of fun. And uh, keep being loud for Jesus. You got it, man. Thanks a ton. This is fun. If you have any suggestions, comments, or words of affirmation, shoot us an email, show at kylehyman.com. And until next time, remember to leave room for the Holy Spirit. <laughs>